Hello everyone, this is Renata, the Mind Architect, and let's talk today about forgiveness. What does it mean? What it's all about and why do we need to forgive? Why it's not okay, it's not good for you to hold the grudge or stay angry or withhold your emotions. I am very sure that every single one of you, and me including every single person, uh, has had the experience where you were wronged or you did something wrong. Where you got into a circumstance or situation where your standards or expectations were high and someone didn't meet them. There could be tons of different situations that we can talk about, but usually there would be two people, right? Or there would be you and something that you're doing that didn't go well, or someone else was doing it and that didn't go well. And we tend to sink into those emotions, anger, resentment, frustration, anything that does not make us feel good. And then we sink into our thoughts about what happened and we feel hurt. We feel betrayed, we feel wronged, and we hold on to those feelings. So whatever has happened, who it doesn't matter who did what. Forgiveness is not about forgetting something. It's not about eliminating that memory. It's about detaching and setting yourself free. It's about saving your heart. It's about enhancing your heart. It's about being strong because you can forgive. And it's never about that person that created or helped to create that anger or resentment or frustration or that person who did something wrong to you. It's about you. It can be painful. It can be hurtful. But to forgive is to, at some level, to share love, to say that love is stronger than anger. It's about setting yourself free. If you hold on to something, you're telling yourself that you want to be imprisoned in that anger. It's about telling yourself that you don't want to let go because your ego thinks it's better to hold on to that anger. So you don't need to hold on to that because it, nothing will really change if you hold that anger or not to forgive someone just because your ego is saying that. To forgive is not to be perfect. It's about detaching from whatever has happened so you can breathe today, so you can feel better today and tomorrow. How do you do that? You need to go within and see why do you feel all those emotions that are not helping you, why they're destroying your heart. Because every time you think about something that has happened in the past, you bring yourself, your awareness back into the past moment and relive that over and over and over again. When you forgive, you give a chance to a new beginning of you, of how you feel, and you attract more of that. Every relationship, whether it's personal or work or friendship, at some point it will need forgiveness because people will never match your standards 100% of the time. None of us are perfect and will never be. We will all bring something that another person may not like or may not agree with. But it is your choice if you want to live in peace with you and the rest of the world or you want to fight it. 
it's not about forgetting. It's not about saying it's okay what someone else did to you or how things happened. It's not about that. It's about you letting go and being in peace with you. Even if you did something or even if you did not accomplish something and you got angry with yourself, how would this holding that bad emotion, that anger towards yourself help you in the future or even in the, in the now? It's not. It's going to make you suffer even more. It's going to create unloving emotions and feelings. And it will just drag you down. This is not what you want to do, probably. So to forgive is to say, okay, this has happened, and I don't want to be dragged down. I don't want to be hurt anymore. I don't, I don't want to feel bad anymore. To forgive is to share love with you, with others, no matter what has happened. So... See what you can do on that. Um, you can use different techniques. As I mentioned, first of all, you need to go within and see what has happened. Why did it make you feel the way it did? Why that circumstance or person created those negative emotions? Why did you feel this way? Did you know, did you know everything about a specific situation? that there is to know. It's not about proving someone wrong or right. It's about accepting. It's about understanding it. And just saying, I'm letting it go. I'm letting love be more important than anger or frustration or resentment or something else. If you'd like to use some tool there is a great tool, and you can actually Google it. Um, it's called Hoponama. Actually, I'm having a hard time saying that word. Hoponopono, forgiveness technique. And if you repeat that for a few times or for several days, you will see some relief, especially if you make yourself go into the feeling of love and kindness and warmth. It basically says there are several parts to it. It says, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Thank you. I love you. All those four statements are so powerful and they create a different sensation and different feeling. Try this and just share how you feel about those. Again, there, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Thank you. I love you. You apologize for whatever happened because you were part of it no matter what. Whether you did something wrong or you didn't, it's okay. Forgive me, please. It's just saying, I want to detach from this. I want to let it go. And please help me to do that. Thank you is your gratitude. Because this situation or, or event or whatever happened is helping you to grow. It's part of your experience. So gratitude is such a powerful thing. It just raises your vibration so high. I love you. It's just sharing love with you and everyone else, no matter what. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.